Hey, it's Len looking barefaced and bushy browed as ever. I just wanted to take the opportunity at the beginning of this vlog to express uh, my feelings about uh, Chester Bennington's death out of Linkin Park. Linkin Park is one of those bands that I used to listen to when I was a teenager, screaming out with Chester, um, letting out all my teenage angst, and then again through my frustrating adult years. So I'm saying this with a smile because I think it's necessary to be grateful to have had such a great musical influence uh, growing up and this is just a message to say thank you, thank you to Chester, thank you to Linkin Park, thank you to have been yourselves for your hard work, thank you. I just came back from yoga class. Yoga class, like I go all the time to yoga class. No, this is actually my first time going to a collective yoga class. There was a restorative yoga, so pretty chill and meditative and relaxed. But yeah, my cousin got a like a uh, free guest invite, so she took me. You know Zoe. He, everybody knows Zoe by now. So yeah, today I was supposed to uh, get some work done, but my two cousins asked me if I wanted to hang out with them, so I said okay. And in the evening, uh, I went to the class, um, and now I'm enjoying sushi again. But this one was a gift, so whatever. I'm enjoying sushi. And watching YouTube videos and after that I'm gonna fold some laundry I know I'm fascinating so you know these things I thought I hated these how have been I have been lying to myself for so many years these are so damn good okay so let's try this again with a memory card in my camera this time as you can hear my throat is still a little like crackly can I say crackly Sounds weird. <laughs> but let's say crackly. Right now it's Sunday. I've been doing a few house chores, folded some laundry for about one hour, <laughs> watching, uh, catching up on some uh, Zoella vlogs, which I enjoyed the hell out of because her new house is effing mind blowing and amazing. And just those few vlogs that I've seen, I, I have a bunch to catch up on are so happy and summery and bubbly and full of friendship and love and beautiful houses well a beautiful house but beautiful like rooms and decor and all things i aspire to so watching it is like come on i'm gonna sponge off all this amazing energy and vibes oh yeah by the way guys awful awful thing i was gonna cook some quinoa for my lunch and for my dinner tomorrow to bring to work and oh my god, just remembering it makes me cringe so badly right now. <laughs> Cause I like I had this jar and a, a mason jar filled with uh, well it wasn't filled it was like this much left in a really big jar um, of quinoa, and I poured the whole thing in the pot, rinsed it kind of, didn't rinse it very much, but yeah, rinsed it, filled it, filled the pot with water, and then when I go check back on it like maybe two or three minutes later I see that it's like squirming with these weird ant type things and it was just like I thought first I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me because it, it was like flashing and I was like okay the water's boiling but why why is my vision playing this trick on me and then I look closer and it, all these ants were trying to like climb above the floating quinoa to survive and I just felt so bad and at the same time I felt so grossed out and I had this thought like maybe if I could it maybe if I cook it and eat it it won't be too bad because I didn't want to throw it away but I don't think I would have been capable of doing that so I was looking on the internet what the hell those things were and People were saying like don't don't bother like eating it and yeah so I basically had to throw a whole bunch of quinoa out and killed a bunch I killed a, a whole colony of quinoa bugs. Hello <laughs> no. 
Okay, let's. <laughs> New baby. So I just finished making my lunch for tomorrow. There we go. I don't know if I'm gonna be eating it cold or if I'm gonna heat it up. But it's basically, um, I think it's millet. I don't know how to say it in English, but I think it's millet. Uh, my mom brought it for me. Um, uh, I'm not sure which one it is, if it's a bulgur or millet. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it correctly, but yeah. So I made a bunch of this. A little bit of red pesto sauce. Um, broccoli, so I made a bunch of steamed broccoli and I made, I made some um, green lentils. These have soaked um, all day. Same, same with the millet actually, I, made, I let them both soak. And yeah, there you go. Broccoli, lentil, a few cherry tomatoes and in the middle there's some feta cheese. So that will be my lunch for tomorrow. And there's a bunch left over <laughs> for the rest of the week over the next few days so that's good meal prepping so yeah now I'm gonna put everything away store everything correctly and do some washing up but I want to show you guys how back to healthy looks like I think it's a pretty good save after the quinoa disaster of earlier <laughs> hey guys it's <clears throat> hey guys what's up scruffy Lenny is back for another appearance I'm uh, I'm back home now after work and I am finally done I'm gonna have some time off where I'm gonna be able to relax get back into my creative routine and uh, see what other creative projects comes comes my way until until next time until the next one so yeah very excited about that but I am pretty exhausted and pretty scruffy uh, my hair is gonna wait, but if you, you can maybe hear in the background that I'm running myself a bath and I decided to treat myself, I just went to Lush to get a bath bomb and a face mask because my, my skin has not appreciated me working these past months. It's just been breaking out and like everywhere. I have a breakout right here which I think may be hormonal because I'm on my period right now and my forehead which has never broken out like this before maybe even ever even as a teenager I didn't feel it got like this bad which I think is due to the food I was eating at the cafeteria where I was working well the cafeteria the canteen where I was working and because I think you know how like the mouth and this area is like hormonal and everything to do with uh, your genitals basically, your ovaries, all your reproductive system and I think the forehead is your digestive system so that's what is leading me to think that it's the food that's making me break out and I've, trying, I've been trying to compensate so bad with eating healthy when I'm at home, during the weekends, doing like, you know, steaming my face, but nothing seems to be working. So I went to Lush and I got a fresh, you know, one of those fresh masks and, you know, I'm in Belgium, so this is in French and this is called Catastrophe Cosmétique. So, is it called a Cosmetic Catastrophe in English or maybe it's already in English, but seems weird that it's called catastrophe cosmetic cosmetic catastrophe I don't know anyway it says uh, in case of uh, instant translation guys in case of uh, catastrophic skin this mask will uh, calm and purify exactly what I need uh, blueberries antioxidants chamomile Irish moss calamine yeah, sounds really good. So I'm gonna be trying this in the bath. I was thinking shower, but no bath. And I'm actually reading at the same time. I've never actually tried one of these fresh masks, but they seem really good and it's still really cold. I hope mm. hope it works because I'm I'm desperate guys. And I got a bath bomb. This one is Avil Bath, because I wanted something not too fancy you know like no i know it's kind of boring but for once i just wanted a soothing bath no like explosions and 
glitter and stuff this might have glitter because I mean it's lush but this is basically refreshing with citrus um, I think it's just called it bergamot I think it's the same bergamot bergamot uh, avocado olive oil hydrating yeah refreshing and hydrating that sounds perfect for summer even though summer at the moment has been gray 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 rain gray where's the sun gone yeah so i'm gonna go check on my bath and i'll show you my bath bomb and i might even show you my face mask but i want to to flash you guys so we'll see about that also don't want to ruin my camera <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna go uh i'm gonna get in the bath remove my makeup and try try all this out hopefully it works i'll let you know in a minute Okay, <laughs> out of the bath and I feel like a queen. <laughs> so the verdict, uh, shall we start with the face mask first? So um, my skin definitely isn't red. I mean, it's a little flushed because I mean, just got out of the bath, but there, my skin does not look angry after the face mask. So that is a very good point. It feels soft, but I feel like it's also a little dry. I, I'm kind of tempted to put a... Um, I can't find the word. Not lotion. Moisturizer. I was like, it starts with M, but I'm thinking lotion. And then I'm going to motion, which makes absolutely no sense. A moisturizer, but I do want to see how my face reacts to the mask alone so I can see because if I put like moisturizer now and then I have a breakout I won't know which one it is so I'm, I think I'm just gonna leave it even though my, my skin is a little tight right now so far so good I got some a little bit like here and I had a, a cold last week which is why I'm very red and I it did feel very dry so I put some um, lip balm uh, camera battery is flashing so hopefully it holds on while I'm done analyzing I've got this mother of a pimple breaking out right here and I think yeah there it is that one feels really deep but yeah even though I do have these like all these um, breakouts they are not angry at me right now so that's good that's a good point okay so I am gonna I have here the rest of my lunch which I'm gonna finish and uh, I'm gonna re I'm actually rereading this note at the moment so yeah that is gonna be my night my evening in maybe not fascinating but I mean bath leftovers death note I'm good